What if the universe is like a digital image? When you zoom in close enough, even the clearest photo breaks down into tiny pixels, each representing the limits of its resolution. Could our universe operate in the same way? Is there a point where the fundamental fabric of reality stops being smooth and starts being pixelated? Physicists have long pondered the smallest building blocks of the universe, from atoms to quarks to strings. But what if there's an even deeper layer, a universal resolution limit akin to the pixels of a screen? Today, we're diving into pixel theory, a radical idea that the universe might have a finite resolution. What could this mean for science, philosophy, and our understanding of existence? Stick around as we explore whether the universe have a resolution limit. For centuries, humanity has sought to understand the universe at its most fundamental level. From Democritus's idea of indivisible atoms to the discovery of quarks and the mysteries of quantum mechanics, our pursuit of the smallest building blocks of reality has defined much of modern physics. But as we probe deeper, a tantalizing question arises. What if there's a limit to how small we can go? Pixel theory suggests that, just like digital screens, the universe might have a resolution limit a smallest possible unit of space or time. Beyond this limit, reality might not exist as we know it. This concept isn't just speculative. Ideas like the Planck length and Planck time already suggest a smallest measurable scale in the universe. At about 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 35, or one followed by 34 zeros, the Planck length is unimaginably small, yet it could represent the pixels of space itself. Similarly, Planck time, the smallest measurable unit of time, hints that reality might operate in discrete steps rather than a smooth flow. With advancements in quantum computing, cosmology, and particle physics, pixel theory is gaining traction. But it's not just a scientific curiosity. It challenges our deepest assumptions about the nature of space, time, and existence. If the universe has a resolution limit, what does that say about the infinite possibilities we've long imagined? The idea of a resolution limit in the universe raises several profound challenges. First, there's the issue of detectability. If the universe operates on a pixelated framework, how would we even observe it? Current technologies like particle accelerators allow us to probe incredibly small scales, but they're still far from reaching the Planck length. How can we confirm the existence of universal pixels when they're so far beyond our reach? Second, pixel theory confronts our understanding of continuity. We perceive space and time as smooth flowing concepts, but if reality is fundamentally discrete, does that mean our perception is an illusion? Could our smooth experience of time be like watching a movie unaware that it's made up of individual frames? Another challenge lies in reconciling pixel theory with existing physics. Quantum mechanics already deals with probabilities and uncertainties at tiny scales, while general relativity treats space-time as a continuous fabric. Introducing a resolution limit might resolve some contradictions between these theories, but it could also upend established scientific frameworks. Finally, there are philosophical implications. A resolution limit could suggest that our universe is a finite construct, like a simulation or a digital model. Does this mean we live in a program reality? And if so, who or what set the resolution? Pixel theory isn't just about science. It challenges our very sense of existence. Solving these challenges is essential for understanding the true nature of our universe. Let's dive deeper into pixel theory and its implications. At its core, pixel theory proposes that space, time, and even matter are quantized, divided into the smallest possible units. These pixels of reality might correspond to the Planck length and Planck time, scales at which quantum gravity effects dominate. Beyond this limit, the very concept of space and time might break down. Why is this idea significant? Consider how digital technology works. A high-resolution photo looks smooth to the naked eye, but when magnified, it reveals individual pixels. Similarly, what we perceive as smooth, continuous space might actually be composed of discrete blocks. Evidence supporting this idea comes from various fields of physics. For example, in quantum mechanics, phenomena like wave-particle duality and uncertainty suggest that reality isn't infinitely precise. 
pointing to an inherent limit in how we can measure the smallest scales. The holographic principle offers another insight, proposing that the universe's information might be encoded on a two-dimensional surface, much like how pixels encode three-dimensional images on a screen. Additionally, tiny fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background could hint at underlying quantum structures in space-time, further suggesting a granular nature to reality. But what would a resolution limit mean for us in practical terms? It could impose fundamental constraints on what is physically possible. For instance, we might never be able to develop instruments that can probe beyond the Planck scale, as the very concept of space and time may cease to exist there. This could force us to acknowledge certain boundaries to our understanding, ultimately reshaping the way we approach the limits of scientific knowledge. Pixel theory also raises exciting possibilities. If the universe is quantized, it could pave the way for a theory of everything, uniting quantum mechanics and relativity. It might also provide clues about the origins of the universe, or even support the idea that our reality is a simulation. Here's the breakthrough moment. Pixel theory might already be influencing our understanding of the universe, even if we can't directly observe it yet. Recent experiments in quantum mechanics have uncovered phenomena that challenge traditional views of continuity. For instance, the behavior of particles in a double-slit experiment hints at discrete interactions at the quantum level. Similarly, advances in string theory suggest that space-time might be composed of fundamental units, much like strings vibrate at specific frequencies. One of the most compelling arguments for pixel theory comes from the holographic principle. If the universe's information is encoded on a 2D surface, then our 3D reality might be a projection, inherently limited by the resolution of the encoding surface. In other words, our universe could be like a high-definition video with every detail constrained by its underlying pixels. This realization has profound implications. If the universe has a resolution limit, then concepts like infinity might be illusions. The infinite divisibility of space and time, a cornerstone of classical physics, might not exist. Instead, reality could be finite and quantized, with boundaries defined by its resolution. This shifts the paradigm of physics and philosophy. It suggests that our universe is not an endless continuum, but a structured, finite construct. Whether this points to a simulation or a natural limit of reality, it challenges us to rethink our place in the cosmos. To sum up, pixel theory presents a radical idea that the universe might have a finite resolution governed by the smallest units of space and time. From the Planck scale to the holographic principle, this concept draws on cutting edge physics to challenge our understanding of reality. We explore the origins of pixel theory, its scientific basis, and the challenges it raises. The idea of a resolution limit forces us to confront questions about detectability, continuity, and the fundamental nature of existence. It also opens doors to new theories, potentially uniting quantum mechanics and general relativity, or providing evidence for a simulated universe. Pixel theory isn't just a scientific idea, it's a philosophical challenge. It asks us to consider whether the universe is infinite or finite, continuous or discrete, real or simulated. And in doing so, it redefines how we view our place in the cosmos. As our technology advances and our understanding deepens, we might one day uncover evidence for or against the resolution limit. Until then, pixel theory remains a fascinating glimpse into the possible boundaries of reality itself. What do you think? Could the universe really have a resolution limit? And if so, what does that mean for our understanding of space, time, and existence? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's discuss the implications of pixel theory. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on more deep dives into the mysteries of the universe. And if this topic intrigued you, check out our other videos exploring quantum mechanics, the holographic principle, and the simulation hypothesis. Thank you for watching.